Hello everybody, here is again Jose Garcia and this is another video tutorial of EV.small small field. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use an Arduino Uno to send data for the EV dots class. First I'm going to explain you how EV dots works. EV dots has a source space where you can store all your data in variables. For example, in demo source I have a variable called temperature. I can create different variables to store different kinds of of data, for example, humidity. This is another. It is another variable that stores humidity. Humidity. I can store any kind of data, and um, that I that that I can send from different kind of microcontrollers. So, for this video tutorial, I'm going to make an example for a water station. In the water station, we are going to be we are going to store the temperature, the temperature of the water station. So first we need to use we need to parameterize the Arduino June. So please go to Arduino.cc slash en slash tutorial slash process. Here is a small tutorial and a, and a, and a small script and that show you how to use the process library of the Arduino Uno. The process library lets you to co to communicate the microcontroller with the Linux embed system that has the Arduino Uno. And the Linux embed system is which sends all the data to UV dots. So please copy this script into your Arduino ID, and we're going to modify a little in order to communicate the Arduino with the UV.dots class. So let's go to the UV.dots app reference and go to values. In values is everything about how to send different data to, to UV.dots. In this case, we are going to make a variable called temperature, a source called uh, water station, and, we're to, and we are going to send a value. Let's suppose that um, in the moment, in the moment of sensing, uh, you have a value of 10. So we are going to send a temperature of 10 degrees. So let's see how to send values to one variable. We have different kind of examples, and we are going to go to the example for sending only one value. This one. So you be told the last that we have that we need to use the card comma. So let's begin to make it. Initially, the script calls the process library once uh, and begins a bridge communication between the microcontroller and the Linux embed system. And we create a communication with the command prompt in order to make a debug. So after this, uh, it begins to run the car and run the CPU info routines. We are going to use only the run car. So let's erase this and let's erase this. We are going to use only the run car routine. So we need to run the car command. We already have it. Then we need to Send a minus x. We, uh, we have a minus x. I'm going to, I'm going to take this and copy and paste here. We need to send a pause. Remember that add parameter lets to add parameter different parameters to this common prompt. So let's continue. We need to at a minus h then we need to add the content type in this case it's a json application that we have then we need to send a minus d this one and finally we need to send the values
the value must go with this character so for that the Arduino ID recognizes it we need to use a state character and here we are value it must be lowercase value and then state character and here we are and the value is 10 after that to send this line here and I'm going to explain you some something about this this string this is the ub dots URL for storing variables so in this case I'm going to replace this and I'm going to use I'm going to use this. This is the standard for sending data. So, if you don't have the variable created or the source created, like my case, I don't have anything created. I need to tell the to you because that we need to create to create the variable. So, I need to connect to HTTP UB dots that uh, HTTP. Uh, uh, slash slash thing that ubitos.com that here we are dot com slash api slash v1.6 slash devices then the data source label in this case is my weather station then the name of the variable so this temperature and then values and values are followed by the token. So here we go. And like this. Okay. We need to take back the last one slash. So I'm going to copy my token and paste here okay do we need any more else okay. we don't need any more else only the token at the end okay so here we are Let's burn this to the Arduino June and let's see how it works. Okay, let's see. And here's the answer from the server. It tells me the URL where I connected, the value that I sent and a timestamp. The timestamp is making automatically and stored in the server. So let's come back to UV dots. Let's refresh the page in here. We are the weather station and in the weather station we have the temperature variable with a value of 10. So it's as you are, it's very simple. Um, of course, we will need to replace this value for the value that you are sensing in the hardware routine but that's that's a uh, homework for you so thank you very much for watching this another video tutorial of ubidot small pills